Well, you may remember back in the early 1990s, four children died, many more were sickened by a massive E. coli outbreak. That outbreak and the reforms that followed to make food safer are the subject of a new book. And Jen is with the author right now. Jen? Yeah, Scott, Jeff Benedict's new book, Poisoned, hit shelves last week, and he is here in Utah to talk about it tonight at King's English Bookstore. Jeff, thank you so much for joining us. What made you want to write this book? Uh, my wife, really, she uh, she put in an organic garden at our at our farm, and then just kept expanding it. Um, I started paying a lot more attention to what we were eating, particularly food safety, and then I started looking at outbreaks, and there just seemed like there was one, you know, every other week in the news. One week it was eggs, the next week it was peanut butter, and so I was looking for an outbreak case, and the Jack in the Box case was probably the most, the biggest case we've seen in contemporary history. Yeah, a lot of us remember that case uh, when it happened. What was the most disturbing thing that you came across uh, in particular? Uh, just how, how close, you know, you can come to death by eating something that's contaminated. In fact, four kids did die in the outbreak, and the difference between life and death for some of these kids was a few degrees of cooking temperature in the meat. And, you know, when you think about that as a parent, I've got four young kids, and uh, you realize how critical food safety can be. And something so unintentional originally yeah. that, that causes so much harm. What reforms and changes have been put in place since the Jack in the Box, in, box incident? Well, that case, I mean, the reason I did the book on that case is because that case was so seminal in terms of a lot of the public safety change. Uh, food safety changes you see today, even the bill that President Obama signed back in December. It took 18 years in the making, but simple things like warning labels on meat and poultry in the grocery stores, warning you to cook to a certain temperature. Um, and, and E. coli is now a household word, that's, it's, and it's declared an adulterant by the federal government. It was none of those things in the 90s. Well, thank you so much. Uh, interesting topic, definitely something you'll want to look into. Again, the book is called Poisoned. Thank you, Jeff Benedict. We will pass it back to you, Scott.